Hello everyone out there, this is Latios Azuro. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Y Nuzlocke. Here we are, Route 21. And this is a new route, so you know what that means. Let's see what we can find, because we get to catch something here, don't we? Maybe I'll just come back here later, since apparently... Okay, never mind! Well, let's see what we can get. A Spinda. Um... That's interesting, to say the least. Let's... let's... slash it. I don't think this should beat it. This should probably... yeah. Thrash? Oh gosh. I'm gonna go for another slash. I'm not too concerned about it confusing, getting confused and killing itself because I'm pretty sure that it, its ability is that it can't get confused. Problem is that... never mind! I take it back. It will probably kill itself if I don't catch it in the first ball. So, here we go. Let's go for a Pokeball. Pokeball, go. Get that Spinda. Two, three, click. Okay, we got a Spinda. Hmm. Which, well, could be useful, maybe. I don't know. Alright. Um. This. Big. Sp uh. Spigot. Big. Kink. Spigot for kink. What? What is. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with the name? Why is it not... Why am I being censored? Fine... Spigot wrist sink. What? Finds bin twersec spinter spinter There we go, spinter secti. Welcome to the team. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble naming it Spinda with the whole censorship thing. Okay, it looks like we're battling this ace trainer. As if we haven't battled enough of them last time. But I think that we should be able to handle it, even though she's going for a Sableye, which means she's probably gonna try to go stall and try to poison us or do something to us, and oh my, I should have healed up. Okay. Land throw her out. Mega cape. So here we go. Bring out that drought. And Sableye is down. So, and with that, Kate grew to level 62. Which is a very good level for a Charizard, I suppose. Because she wants to learn Inferno. Which... Uh, Seems like a powerful move. It leaves the target with a burn. It definitely leaves the target with a burn like Flamethrower that only sometimes does, but it's only 5 PP and so inaccurate that I don't want it. <laughs> Maybe if this was competitive I'd consider it, but this is a Nuzlocke, so I don't like leaving things to chance. A Crustle. Ah, uh, I can't go to shoot. I can't go to Rick because of the drought. 
Flamethrower it is. Just hopefully that thing doesn't look, doesn't give a rock type attack. Okay, good, we got rid of it. No problemo. Alright. Okay, we beat this ace trainer with no problems. Now, do I have any items that I can give instead of having to go all the way back to the Pokemon Center to heal up? I need a super potion to... I'll use two of these because I'm... Alright, there we go. A weird combination of potions and we got the desired outcome. Alright, here we go. I know we're going to be battling this guard guy who is going to try to keep us from going through here. This is the entrance of Victory Road. Only Pokemon trainers who have collected all eight badges may pass. Your total number of badges is one, two, three, four. Wow, you have all eight! Well then, let me test your abilities. Okay, here we go. We're battling Ace Trainer Robbie. Okay, Robbie, here we go. Robbie going for that car bank. Oh, gosh. This is th that. Th 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 that's not what I wanted. We don't have like a steel Pokemon. That would be off. That would be awesome for us to use right now. But alas, we do not for anything you know, else. So I'm gonna let Rick take this one, even though this thing is probably just a big stall. I'm thinking it, it's more likely to set up spikes or stealth rock. Yeah. Power gem. I am so glad that I switched. And that was a crit, so we should be okay now. I just go for a water pulse here. That probably would have done a lot of damage on Kate if I hadn't switched out. And we got a crit too, we turned the favor. Okay! Now he's setting up rocks. That is that that that's horrible. Now we can't go into Fletchy or Kate. At all. At, at, at all. So it is up to everyone else pretty much now. We should have a defogger, actually. It's a shame we don't. Raichu. Oh, gosh. Sven? I, that's not much I could do about that. I mean, flying in water is basically everyone else on the team other than Milky Henders, and Milky Henders isn't at a level ready to be able to take on a level 56 Raichu. And it's faster. That is, that is, mm, not very good, especially because I can get the Parahax. I wouldn't be too afraid if it wasn't for that Parahax thing. At least it's not going for, like, a Nuzzle. That would be... Oh, and it got the Parahax on the Thunderbolt. You can't... Oh, fudge. Okay. Alright, that is not good. Let's, let's, um, do we have a full restore? Do we have anything? You know what, we have a full restore, which I will be using on Sven. This isn't an extreme lock, I can use whatever kinds of items that I feel like using here. So, probably shouldn't use too many items per battle, but this way I do want to actually not let anyone die here. And hopefully nothing will happen to Sven here, so... This Raichu is a little bit of a problem. But luckily, we were able to get rid of it thanks to compliments of that punter of the um of the full restore we have. Flash screw to fifty seven, last screw to fifty one. That's good. Milky Hand screw to thirty five. Captivate. I think I'll pass on that. I mean, it's not a bad move, but I don't think it's something I can really use to. Kingdra. Couldn't ask for something better for Sven. Actually, I could have. Sven, tank it. Oh my god. KO it. Um. I need you to beat it now. Okay, Sven for the win. Kinda, sort of. Okay, Sven, good job. You are definitely... I am so proud of you, Sven. You were able to take on a Flash Cannon Kingdra. 
Oh my god, that, that, that. Um, I'm still recovering from that. Oh my god, okay. Fantastic! Please allow me to say it one more, once more. Fantastic! May the road to you and your Pokemon follow be filled with joy and success. Alright, Robbie, thanks for that. Also, thanks for not killing any of my Pokemon. That would have been horrible. Okay, now let's actually heal up. Alright, here we go. Oops. Then we get an interesting angle. That is, that's nice. Camera angles are all nice to see every once in a while. Question is, am I go? is it... Should I have Milk to Hinders on the team right now, or would I be better off with Yav? Actually, I would be better off with Yav, but... I just feel like... I should probably be using Milk to Hinders a little more, so Milk to Hinders gets some of the... Um, of the... Experience from that. I mean, maybe I could use the... The daycare for a while and just give, uh, I'll well, put one of the Pokemon in there so they can be a little bit more evenly leveled. Maybe I could even use, um, maybe I can even use Spinda. I mean, level wise, it's there, it, it's pretty close. It's just that it's, um, not one of the strongest Pokemon ever. On the other hand, Miltank isn't exactly the strongest ever, but it is a pretty good one, I guess somewhat. I mean, oh look, there's the badges. This is cool. Badge check. Awesome. Alright, got all the badges and... What the... What the heck? Physically, that makes no sense. Physically, that makes absolutely no sense. If this wasn't a game, I wouldn't be making it out here. But here we are at Victory Road. It looks as if. Um. Yeah. Victory Road it is. Do I have any items or repels or whatever? I have a super repel. I'm going to use that until I... I don't know what I want to find here. Oh, fudge. Wait a minute, I don't have the eight gems ready for this yet. I'm not ready for Victory Road yet. Are you kidding me? I, I haven't decided on what I'm going to do about eight gems, although I probably... You know, maybe I can give strength to Milka Hinders. Or did I already? I don't remember. My memory is horrible when it comes to HMs. No, I did not. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. I'm, I'm not the brightest, apparently. Okay. Strength is like Body Slam, only a little bit less and doesn't have the chance of a power hacks. And Milga Hinders has a pretty bad uh, nature. Not that really matters too much. So I'm gonna actually give up Body Slam, I'm thinking. Because strength is similar, only we need it. Even though I could just as easily give it to Lapsy. But then would that really accomplish since I have to give someone Waterfall? Maybe I'll give Rick Waterfall. Has a chance of flinching. And Rick does seem to have a pretty good physical attack and some special attack. Wait a minute, is Water Pulse in TM? I don't remember, because I know it was in the past. I just don't know if it is now. Whatever the case, I'm pretty sure we're better off with Waterfall on him than with than Water Pulse. 
for now at least. I can always delete it and get in something else, I suppose, like Surf. But this is a big power increase, plus it's using its physical attack instead of its lowered special attack. So... No one can learn Sludge Bomb. <laughs> now, question is, do I want to give Mice Beam? It's a strong special attack, even though he's a physical attacker. Would I be better off with, with Ice Beam or Smackdown on him? I mean, Smackdown will do some good damage on a Fire Flying, which will pretty much secure a win against a, like, a Talon Flame. Although, I could always easily, just easily go for Waterfall, though, in that. I mean, other than that, if it's all the same, I'd probably be better off going for Waterfall anyway than Smackdown, which I almost never use, even though it's a physical attack. But I'm pretty sure that the, the physical attack is only about 20 points more than the special attack. So, 14, 12, so it'd be 7, 7 sixths times 50. Alright, 7 sixths of, 7 sixths of 5 would be 35 over 6, which is about 60-ish. This is, and this would just be 90, I think I'm better off with... Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm better off with Ice Beam. Yeah, that's why you go to college, to, to learn math, so you can decide what to do in a Pokemon game. That's what it all comes down to. It's not about being able to get credentials to get a job. It's all about figuring out the right, ti the right moves to give your Pokemon. That's why you should go to college. Alright. Although it would probably be helpful for you if you picked a major. That was something that interested you. Alright, Alonza. The East Trainer going for the Weavile. I am okay with that because we have Mega Kate. And I'm thinking Rick might be able to do more stuff now, now that he has some moves that should be a little more fitting for him. So, yes. I don't think we're going to be going through the entire Victory Road here today, because I just don't think we are. I don't know what just happened there. Okay, whatever, we just beat the Weavile, no problemo. Goodbye, Ace Trainer Alonza. So yes, you literally get to watch an entire episode just to see me change move change move sets and do math. Which, granted, might be entertaining for you. Who knows? Probably not. Do we not have Rock Smash on us? Yes, yes, we have no Rock Smash. Battle time. I probably should have bought some Hyper Potions, but, um, we have some, so, here we go. Steelix, okay, this, this is gonna be fun. Because we're gonna have to KO this thing. Otherwise, it'll go for, like, a Rock Tomb and kill us, so, here we go. Bring out the sun. So we can do more damage with the flamethrower. I really want Kate to have like Solar Beam or something like that. That would be really useful. Really useful. I think we can buy it in like I forgot which city. Yeah, keep up, Kate. <clears throat> Probably dangerous since it's electrode and all. An exploding Pokeball, but. Not much I can really do about that. Let's just go for a flamethrower. Question is, I'd be better off if it went for a flame if it went for a an explode or if it went for a thunderbolt. That's the question. Now, if I were a Megan Charizard X, I'd be better off obviously with 
Thunderbolt. But it's flying type. Um, Kangaskhan. This is. This is gonna be fun. Let's do what we can. Luckily, this one can't Mega Evolve. Can Mega Evolve? I would be fearing. I would probably be in so much fear. Yeah, just imagine that. If the champion had a Mega Kangaskhan. And a bunch of Ubers Pokemon. Well, other Ubers Pokemon. That would be hard. Really? Well, I need to time I need to time my running a lot better. But you know what? This guy's fighting type and he has a Machamp, which Um Yeah, it's a Machamp. I'd go for a wing attack, but I'm not. So I mean I'm too afraid to go for a wing attack because the Mega Boost doesn't... I don't think it increases attack. Or if it does, it's not nearly as much as a special attack. And... It's not a physical attack. Kate's not a physical attacker. And Sunlight doesn't help wing attack, so... Although it's super effective, Flamethrower is a better move, I feel like. <clears throat> Plus, it doesn't have as good of a base power. So... Yeah. Go. On the bright side, by using repels now, I can still get my encounter later, just in case I ever need to. Problem is, I have no clue what that encounter is going to be. If I knew what I was doing around here, I'd probably be better, a lot better off. But alas, I'm battling the Psychic, it looks like. <laughs> psychic William, with the Espeon. Oh, look at that thing. I don't know if I talk too much about Espeon, because it, my favorite evolution is, is, well, Sylveon, but I really like Espeon. <laughs> I, uh, in fact, in Fire Red version, and I played that, well, um, a long time ago, the first time I actually tried playing one, well, played one, I was actually trying to get an Espeon. I, I had an Eevee, and it was level 25, I tried to make it friendly and all that stuff, so, but speaking of fan Spanker level 60, well, Sylveons and Eevees and all that stuff. So I finally, then I was training the Eevee, it was happy, it was the front of my party and all that stuff. I really wanted an Espeon. And then, you wouldn't believe it. He got to level 100 and never evolved. Maybe you would believe it, because that is kind of my luck. I'm pretty sure it had something to do with Fire Red mechanics. I'm not sure. Um, got a rare candy. Not that I ever really use these that much, or ever. But you know what? Free items. I can't complain about free candy. Alright, here we are. I'm gonna hold off on using a repel for now. Let's just see what we can find around here since it's not like I have any reason not to. Oh, it's another cave. That's not obviously the right way, so. Guard girl on duty. I know back here, that's where there's a mega stone. So. Hey. Yeah, thanks. Heal up. That is nice. Alright. So. You 
you're proceeding slowly. Keep walking. If you do, you'll reach your dream. Yes, that is nice. That is nice. So next time we are going to continue to try to face our dreams because, let's be honest, sometimes you get a quick ball. That wasn't quite my dream, but for now I'll take it. So, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time as we continue our way through Victory Road and make it for the Pokemon League. Goodbye.